everyone, and welcome to our in class. Tonight we're going to be doing a sequence using the wall. Take your yoga mat close to a blank space in the wall. You're going to be using a few props, maybe a cushion, or if you have some yoga blocks at home, that is a good option as well. I'd like to take this moment to introduce my parents, which is Angelica, my mother, and Juan, my father. Let's get started. Take a nice deep inhale, raise your shoulders, bring your scapula together, elbows drawn in close. Turn your palms up. You can take a mudra, your first finger and your index. Take a nice deep inhale, you can close your eyes. And then on the exhale, open your mouth, let it out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Seal your lips. And just start to breathe. Your relaxed, normal breath. You're starting to pay attention to the length. rise and fall of your chest. At this moment, start to deepen the breath. Taking in as much oxygen as possible. Maybe holding it for a little bit. And slowly releasing it. Start to match the inhalation to the exhalation. Make a sound in the back of your throat. There's like this oceanic sound. It's like an each eight sound with this lip seal. Resonant breath in Sanskrit is called your ujjayi breath, your victorious breath. Inhale through the nose, exhale. Two more rounds. Allowing this sound to carry you throughout the practice. When your mind begins to wander, just come back to this sound, to this resonant breath, to this ujjayi prana. Slowly let your head fall to the right. Eyes closed. Keep the breath flowing. Heart comes here. On the next inhale, straight. Allow the weight of your head to feel very heavy, like you're going to bring your ear forward to your throat. Come back to the center. Drop your chin towards your clavicle. Take your ear to the wall. Just rotate your head as you try 
trying to take your right ear towards the wall. Really push your ear. up your lungs. Come back to your center. Open your eyes. Take hold of your knees and just start to rotate your shoulders. Major rotation. Using any organic movement at this moment. Take your hands to either side. Roll back your shoulders, your elbows close to the wall. Lift your chest up. Really push down through your sit bones. Uh, next thing you will raise your right arm, gaze it up at the fingertips, all the way up. Bend the left elbow, gaze the rainbow over to the side, get a nice side body bend. Your eyes are looking up to the ceiling. Inhale brings you back up, bring down the arm. Inhale the left arm all the way up, and exhale. Inhale, raise. Exhale. Inhale, come back up. Switch sides. Nice deep inhale and exhale. Your gaze is up to the ceiling. Come back to center. This time, practice your arms. Keep them close to the wall. Take a look. Make sure that your elbows are in line with your shoulders. Spread your fingers wide and really push your hands back towards the wall. Take a nice deep inhale. Raise the fingers towards the wall and raise your arms all the way as much as you can. Exhale, bring them down to shoulder level. Inhale here, and on the exhale, switch the palms down. We'll do this a few times. Inhale, raise the palms. Exhale here. Now the inhale, raise all the way up. Exhale. Shoulder height. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale. Raise. Exhale here before you. Raise, inhale, all the way up. Exhale, bring them down. A nice deep inhale. And on the exhale, rotate. One more time. Inhale, raise. Exhale. working with the shoulder. Keep your left hand onto your left knee. Take the right palm, turn it, thumbs facing down, press into the wall. Now press into the wall and then take a look the opposite way. Really take that hand into the wall, pressing all the way. Sides, right 
hand on the right knee, turn the palm, thumb facing down, press into the wall, and look the opposite way. Few breaths here. At any point, if you need a little bit more support, you can take the pillow underneath your hips or you can make any adjustments if you need it underneath in one of the knees or something like that. So you take your knees out in front of you. Hands to the other side and just windshield wiper. You can rotate one way. Stop in the center. Inhale, point the toes. Exhale, flex the feet. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Take your shoulders up and down. Fingertips are facing to either side. Up your chest out, flex your feet, take your head slightly back. Point the toes down in your stomach. Release. Bend your knees, take your hands to your knees, feet hip width distance, separate your feet. Inhale, press <coughs> your chest forward, head goes back. Exhale. Exhale, round, go back. Inhale, press your chest forward, head goes up. Exhale, tuck your chin, round back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, forward. Exhale, round. One more time, inhale, forward. From here, I'm going to come into a tabletop position. So you're going to be on all fours. Spread right your fingers wide to the front of the mat. Spread right your fingers wide. The index finger is pointed forward. Now push the ground away. Knees are right underneath the hips. Shoulders are right above the wrist. Inhale, drop your belly, raise your gaze. Raise your gaze. Exhale, tuck your chin, push the ground away. Yeah. Inhale, come up, raise your gaze, drop your belly. Exhale, tuck your chin, push the ground away, round up your spine. Inhale, come forward. Exhale. Your breath is going to get higher every time. Inhale, up, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale. Now you can take a seat, if you can take the pillow right in between your feet and sit. Bring your knees a little closer. Turn feet. Is that comfortable? If it's not comfortable, you can sit on your bum. Right. You can make cross your legs again. <laughs> cross your legs again. Okay. We'll stay here for a little bit. Interlace your fingers and then just rotate with your wrist. One way. The other way. We'll push out. Bring it back. Shake. Open and close. Shake. Open and close. Make any movement that you Gonna come back into our tabletop, remove put the cushion out the way, and this time we'll make little circles. So we'll go one direction and then the other direction. Now, at this point, come to a neutral. You're going to take your hips to the right. And your head over to the left. A nice little stretch on your side. 
come back to center, hip over to the left, knees over to the right. Feet out in front of you, sit back. Up. This time you'll come close to the wall. Turn. Get your body really close to the wall. Turn to the side. Breathe first. Yeah. Sit with your side to the wall. Keep your body very close to the wall. Slowly transition to legs up the wall. Bring your forearm down and then your back. Keep your bottom very close to the wall. Very nice. Your legs may be a slightly bent if you're a little tighter. If you are looser in the hamstrings, you'll find that this is much more relaxing. If not, you can keep a slight bend with the knees. Now, take both hands to either side, palms facing down. Dot on the floor. Take a nice deep inhale, point the toes, and on the exhale, flex the feet, heels up. Inhale, point the toes, exhale, flex the feet. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Keep doing this at your own rhythm, using the inhale to point and the exhale to flex. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. When you're flexing, you're bringing the heels up to the sky. Few breaths. Make sure to keep length in the back of your neck. At any moment, if you feel like your neck is scrunching, bring your head up, find length in the back of your neck, and then place your head back down. Slowly open your legs to hip width distance. And keep the same motion. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Legs up the wall is a very important posture. It really promotes circulation in the, in the limbs. It's re very restorative. When you're standing up all day or sitting down, it really is a very beneficial pose to restore the legs. Bend the knees, bring the feet hip width distance. Now bring the knees together, hug your knees into your chest, inhale head up, exhale head down, inhale head up, exhale head down. Try to really hug your knees in close, if you can take hold of your opposite elbows, you can do that. Inhale, head up, exhale, head down. All right, keep your head down, arms to the side, and slowly release your legs up. One more time. Stay here for a few, for a few breaths. Just allowing the legs to feel these sensations. It's important to understand the difference between pain and sensation. Pain is sharp. Pain is a big shock. Sensation is stretching, is a release of tension in the connective tissue. Whenever we feel that, we have to breathe using our breath to release the tension. Few breaths here. If you need to modify this pose, you can take the cushion underneath your hips as well. Slowly you will feel the hamstrings releasing your legs will get straighter over time. Mm -hmm. 
bend into the knees. Take the soles of the feet together and diamond out the knees like a butterfly. Soles of the feet together and diamond out the knees. Open the knees. Hands in the inside of the thigh. The feet together. Mm -hmm. Nice and still. No movement. Push through the inside of the thigh. Nice deep breath. You don't want to create tension, just the palms of your hands pressing on your thighs. Bring your shoulders down. Find length in the back of the neck. Make sure that your feet don't separate, the heels, everything stay connected. And you're pressing the knees towards the wall. Deep breaths here. Let's take a cleansing breath together. So inhale through the nose, open the mouth, release. Inhale through the nose, open the mouth. Reconnect the feet together. Keep the heels together. Slowly close the knees. Bring the knees back into the chest. Try to bring them a little bit lower this time. Hug yourself, hug the knees into the chest. Release. Slowly raise the legs back up the wall. And this time, windshield wiper your ankle side to side. Come to neutral. This time, bring your right knee into the chest and hug your right knee only. Then knot it up to your forehead, your shin. <laughs> Keep the top leg straight. Keep the top, push through the heel, flex the foot. Interlace your fingers. Hands clasp together. Bring the knee towards your armpit. Flex the top foot. Keep the leg straight. Bring the head up, find length in the back of the neck, and then place the head back down. Press the shoulders, keep the head down. Press the shoulders down into the mat. Point the top foot. Now keep the put, foot pointed, just take it off the wall. Bring it towards you. Release, let's go the other side. Legs straight up the wall. Go straight up the wall. Legs straight up the wall, Bobby. You can rotate side to side. So now let's go to the other side. Net left knee into the chest. Flex the top foot. Leg is straight. There you go. Knee into the chest. Keep it flexed. Keep it strong. Neck is nice and long. Head down. Press your shoulders into the ground. No movement in the foot. Just flex. On the next inhale, point the toes, the top toes. And slowly hug your knee to your chest and then lift, take the leg off the wall. Bring it towards you. Leg is straight. Point the toes. There you go. Bring it back. Take both knees down. You can move side to side. Bring the legs back up. Slowly. You can massage your thighs. Take your hands to your thighs and massage your, your quads. We did some activation to the thighs. Open your arms out to the side, palms facing down. Rotate your hands so that your palms are facing down. Your arms are to a T. If you don't have space, 
If you don't have space, you can cactus your arms. Like a little four. From there, bend into your knees. Take your knees over to the left. Keep your arms down. Do a nice little twist. A few breaths here. You can take an adjustment here. come back to the center. Release and we'll go to the other side. So make room. We'll place this on this side. Take a twist. And then you look to the other side. Look the other way. Opposite. Very good. Everyone will have different tension, different mobility, and you make the adjustment. A few more breaths. Slowly come back to center. Bring the legs back up the wall. Make any movements that you need. Bend the knees. Bring the legs to the side and just lay down on your side. Rotate completely. Take a fetal position. Use the bottom arm like a little pillow. You can use the pillow as well. If you need it, put it along the side. When the time is right, come back to a seated position. You can take the pillow underneath your hips. If you'd like a pillow underneath your hips. From here, we'll close out, take our hands to our chest. A nice deep inhale. Exhale, just bow forward. Inhale, come back up. Take our hands back to where we started. And we just close our eyes and stay here for a few breaths.
open your eyes, take your hands to heart center, and now Thank you. <laughs>